my channel. It is half past 12 in the afternoon right now on Friday the, what date are we on? Let's check. Friday the 12th of April, I'm about to say March. This year is going so fast, it's not even funny. Um, today's video is gonna be a food shop haul. Um, Lou's away working until next Tuesday night, so I'm gonna get a couple of bits for when he comes home as well, some couple of dinners for them, but till then, it's really just meals for one. Uno me. Um, I'm making sure I try and eat as best as I can when he's not there because last week was his first week, no, that week before that was his first week away in his new job and he's not home. He's like week on, week off. And I only ate like pasta and quick dinners that week. So I want to make sure this week that I maybe just like try and cook better, if you know what I mean. So come with me, let's see what we get. And at the end, I will show you what I've got and I will show you my meal ideas. And if you just found this video and you like these types of videos, or you like vlogs in general, or loads of different hauls from Home Baggins, B&M's, Primark, they're my three fave shops ever, and Poundland, um, then you're on the right channel. And please remember to click that subscribe button because it would mean the absolute world to me. So yeah, let's go to the shop and see what we can so, find. I've just made it to the co-op. Um, I get a lot of messages actually asking why I always shop at the co-op. And it's because where we live, oh my gosh, it's so bright, I can't even look at the camera. Where we live, it is like the only supermarket on the island. So you haven't got much options. So I'm sorry that my food hauls are always from the co-op, but actually I prefer shopping at the co-op anyway. If I lived anywhere else, I probably would shop like Aldi for like bits and bobs, but like the meat, I would shop at the co-op because the co-op meat is just like top notch. It's like proper good. So anyway, let's go to the shop and I'm gonna hopefully get everything on my list and let's go. I'm just putting everything in the car. I got three quite big bags. So, just gonna pop the milk standing up because no and Milo could probably. I do the checks because there's local people and because we live in such a small island, people are probably thinking, what the fudge is that girl doing? But I don't care, but I kind of do because I. But my shopping's in the boot now, and I'm gonna put the trolley away. So that's mine now, and I am just about to head home, and I will show you guys everything I picked up. And there's a couple of things I wanted to get which weren't in the shop when I went in, which is a bit frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. I will tell you guys as I'm going along what were the things I meant to get that they didn't have, and there's a few bits I picked up which I didn't plan on having. But I kind of just went for like sole dinner ideas, basically, and like single person dinner ideas. Um, so yeah. I'm going to show you guys when you get back what so I've made it back home and I have put the shopping bags on top of the oven and I'm going to lay them out and show you guys what we are, what, oh, not what we are, what I'm going to have um, for my dinners this week um, or for the next five or so days and yes, let's see what I got in the shop. So let's start our food haul. So this is all laid out. I'm going to start at this end and I will show you. So I got some garlic bread. I got two for a pound, so that was quite good. I got some spaghetti, some penne pasta. I like to have this spaghetti with this brie cheese melted on top and some bacon and this stirring for dinner one night. And I thought I'd have a bit of garlic bread with it. Um, so that's one little section. I then got baked potatoes for um, baking potatoes rather for jacket potatoes with beans and cheese and we've got loads of beans in the cupboard so I didn't need to get any of them. I got some seafood sticks for some snacks. I got some white rolls because I'm gonna have a bacon sandwich um, at some point. I think actually I'm having a bacon sandwich for dinner one night and some eggs because it's quite cool sometimes to have like a bit of a um, full cooked breakfast for evening as well. So I might have that for dinner one night this week. So I got some rolls, I got some breads because I'm loving cheese toasties at the moment um, and I make them in our George Foreman and I just literally love making cheese toasties. So I got that. I then got some Watsits because I've been fancying some Watsit crisp sandwiches. Who had them as a child and literally loved them? I did. Um, I got some milk for my cups of tea because you can't have a day without a cup of tea. I got some sugar because we were literally so low on sugar. I got Lou these two packs of chicken goujons because I asked him, is there anything you want for Tuesday night when you come home from work? Um, and he was like, chicken goujons. So I got him two packets of these. I then got some sweet potatoes um, because I love chopping them up and making my own sweet potato fries. I just think they are so much better than the frozen ones. Um, and they're probably a little bit healthier, so I got them. I got some cracker bread to go with some pate because I love pate. And this cracker bread, I know it looks a bit bland, and it is a bit bland to be fair. It is only um, 20 calories per cracker bread and just a bit of patty on top is a really nice little snack. 
toilet roll. I just got the cup's own toilet roll. I got this sweet chili chicken pizza. I actually prefer this frozen one over the fresh ones they do because it's just so yummy. I then got, oh, I could hear some outside. I was wondering what it was there, but it's actually someone cutting the grass. Um, I got two steak burgers um, because these are the best steak burgers ever and I'm gonna have one um, over the next couple of nights with some cheese melted on it, a little bit of salad and in one of them burger buns I'm gonna use for the bacon one night. Um, so I'm gonna have like a little um, steak burger one night and I actually think I'm gonna have that tonight because that looks so nice. Um, I got two packets of cheese, um, again, grated mozzarella, my favourite cheese in the world, and I got the grated mozzarella and red cheddar, I love that. Um, I then got two cucumbers because um, I literally have cucumber on the side of every single meal, I'm a bit obsessed with it. I have cucumber with garlic salt on top of it and it's just absolutely incredible, I don't know how healthy it is for you having garlic salt on top of it, but it is so good. I then got a baby gem lettuce for my, um, my steak burgers when I have them and I probably put them inside in little salads to use them up. I then got these medium zip seal food and freezer bags because we desperately need some freezer bags, so I got them. I got some Splash Buster, um, what's it called, kitchen roll. This kitchen roll actually, actually does us the whole, literally the whole month. It runs out a little bit on the last week before, um, the last sort of week of it, but it usually lasts a good three weeks, so I got one of them. And then I got, this is my little snack section because it's like the comfort food when Lou's not here. I got these 12 cornflake um, chocolate nests. Oh my gosh, I said that the wrong way around there, but you know what I mean. They are absolutely incredible with a cup of tea. Yum, yum, yum. I then got some malted milks to go with my cup of tea in the morning. I've not actually had these in ages and they look so nice. I then got this chocolate chip cookie mix and oh my goodness, doesn't that look amazing? Um, yeah, I'm just in love with that. I'm gonna make some cookies one night this week. So that's my little snack section that I got. Um, and one second, I'm gonna show you something else I've got in the freezer that I'm gonna this use. This is like, so many people have messaged me and asked for like a freezer tour. If you guys have got me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram at the below here. It's at basically a princess. I have got so many red labels in this freezer, like hundreds of red labels. But on Sunday night, I think I'm gonna have this chicken mini roast. And it literally cost me £1.12 the other night in the supermarket. And yeah, if you like these types of things, um, if you just by yourself and your boyfriend works away or your partner works away, then they're really good. I know it's really frozen up right now, but I'm gonna get some, um, I'm gonna mash up one of them potatoes I had up there, sort of cook it and mash it up to go on the side. And I've got some gravy in as well. And it's got like literally everything in it, so yeah. I got, I'm gonna use that this week as well. And I'm thinking of maybe some for my lunches. I'm gonna have some of this salmon, which was only 50p. I'm gonna cook this at some point as well. Um, so yeah, yeah. that's everything I picked up in the supermarket. I'm really impressed actually with what I got. It came to exactly 40 pounds and we get like a staff discount um, for working at the co-op. Cause if you're new to this channel and you've just found this channel, I actually work for the co-op. Um, so yeah, you get a staff discount and I got a little bit off, so I think it would have been about £46 or something like that um, if it was full price. So I only got about 6 or £7 pounds off it and it came to £40. Pounds. I'm quite impressed with that. There's lots of different meals there. I know it's not the most healthy shop in the world, but I've kind of gone off stir fries at the moment and I'm coming in at like 6, 7 o'clock at night. No, not 6, 7, 7 or 8 o'clock at night and I'm not wanting to cook like big, big things then when I come in. And also I'm only cooking for one until Tuesday when Lou is home. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a huge thumbs up because it would mean the absolute entire world to me. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you've just found this channel. Thank you very much for watching, bye!